everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to our Minecraft mod reveal with me. And today, today we're back looking at the Bleach Vibes mod, which... Okay, so I'm not doing a full review of, like, everything in the mod, because I did that just recently, and this mod gets updated, like, a bunch. But I do want to take a look at this new stuff that got added in those updates since I last, uh, did the review. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, there's been a couple... And, uh, like, normally I'd wait until there's a few more updates, and, like, you know, just do a bigger video, look at all the stuff, but I think, I mean, I haven't seen it, but the new thing that seems like it's been added is so cool that I want to look at it now, so here we are. But yeah, just a brief look at stuff that's in the mod, yeah, I have tons of mobs, bunch of outfits, bunch of things for fighting and random little items and things and things and things, although we're going to be needing that for a feature that I didn't look at last time. But yeah, uh... Bunch of different bits in here and then up here. Got a bunch of different Shikais and stuff. Uh, yeah, two new Shikais got added in the latest update. Along with... Okay, technically it's one new mob. But, like, also there's a new spawn egg that, like, I don't think was there before. Because it's, it's for a hole that we already saw. But, like, it didn't... I don't think it had its egg. Also, just to check. Yep, yep. We're still murdering the slot. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the damage type has been switched to. But, yeah, it just... It, it kills this... It kills these things. They just can't... They can't handle it for whatever reason. So that's the thing. Right, we'll just quickly pop that out there for later. Um, yep, cool. So, new stuff. ba ba do Eye patch. Play with that real quick first. Pop it on. Doesn't do anything. Set our energy to be, let's say, 2500. And there it goes down quicker. Ah, uh, yeah, the eye patch is playing. Obviously, it's can patch eye patch, which is meant to be a, basically a, a spiritual energy limiter. So that your spiritual energy doesn't go beyond a certain point. They level cap for it, or the cap for it is like 2,000, so if your energy is over above 2,000, it will try and lower you down to 2,000. And, yeah, basically though, I, I, I put it on before in the last mod review, and it didn't really help. Like, it slowed down my regeneration a bit, but like, once you get to a certain point, your regeneration is far too quick for the eye patch to keep up. That might still be the case later, but for now at least it will last a lot longer, uh, keeping your spiritual energy cap down a bit, which I, I guess there's a few reasons you want to do it, because the lower your spiritual energy is, the, like, the slightly weaker you are, uh, the shorter your battles and stuff would be. But also, apparently, you, you give up a passive spiritual energy effect, you know, like the captains do. And if you had other players with you, you didn't, if you don't want to kill them with your spiritual pressure, then you wear an eye patch. And honestly, I just think it looks kind of cool. I mean, yeah, okay, my hair is covering it, but you see the strap bit going across my face. I don't know, I kind of dig it. Oh yeah, other things, so technically these were already in the mod, but they weren't there as items, and yeah, okay, so I've got the Arankar and the Arankar mask, they are, they, they both said the same thing, let's not worry about that little detail, uh, so yeah, if we take that off, we pop this one, I have no idea which one's which, oh actually no, we do visor, helmet mask, and Arankar mask, there we go, so if you put on the Arankar mask, it just makes it so you look like an Arankar before, like, have, without having to be an Arankar, so, uh, yeah, I used it, it, it it was an item that, like, clearly you were getting, uh, like, was in the mod anyway. So it's cool we now have it as a thing that we can actually access. So if you wanted it for roleplay purposes or something. Like, it's fun to have access to items. Like, I, I like the fact that that's there. Uh, then we get the other one. And, uh, yeah, so it's the full Ichigo mask. I think it looks awesome, by the way. Right, so how we saw this was we transformed it basically into Ichigo. And then the game freaked out. I'm going to try and take another look at that today. But it might just break again. <laughs> I don't know. Visors are apparently in. And then apparently you can actually access this mask. I just need to like figure out exactly how. So we'll be doing that in a bit. But yeah for now though. Yeah you can just access the mask for. Again roleplay purposes. Just for the sheer look of it. I, I Yeah give us. If, if we're going to get more options. I love it like. It's never going to be a bad thing to give us access to this stuff. If you know to spot it. Uh, although yeah like some of this stuff. Like said the eye patch. Like how do you, how do you get access to it normally? Um. I assume the way you build like, access to it is if you trade it off villagers or if it spawns in a chest because, yeah, there's no crafting recipe for it. The only thing that really has crafting recipes at this point is the Quincy stuff. Aside from that, you either get it when you reach a certain point. Like, for example, yeah, we get the Shinigami outfit when we become a Shinigami. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, a lot of the stuff, though, isn't craftable. So, I don't know. I'm just assuming you get it from, like, villagers and stuff or you get it from a chest. I mean, correct me if anyone knows otherwise. Like, it'd be very handy to know this information. <laughs> Um, as we go, but I mean, for now, I'm not, I'm not really trying in a survival series anyway, we're just spawning stuff in, so it doesn't really affect me right now, but I'm guessing, yeah, if people wanted to play it in survival, then it'd be handy for them to have easy access to know how they actually do things. But anyway, no matter. This thing's here. Cool. Uh, yeah, we saw it in Wakamundo. It already existed into the world, it's just, yeah, it, it, 
I didn't have a spawn egg. Like I was I was kinda confused. I was surprised when I saw it wake up though because I took all the spawn eggs that wasn't there. So yeah, we now got access to the spawn egg. That's nice. It's it's another small hollow that you can fight off against, so that's cool. Also just a check. No, I, oh, that's right. Yeah, when I hit these things I don't do extra damage, goddamn. Like, I wanted to check to see if wearing the eye patch was, like, limiting my power at all, but I, I don't think it is. I don't think it, I, 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 I think we're still technically doing the same damage output. I think it's just it'll limit our spiritual pressure so we don't, you know, kill folk around us. Plus, technically, it limits our battle potential because then we won't be regenerating energy as quickly and going over 2,000 and stuff. So, you know, if you're feeling particularly powerful and you're out in the fight against weaker opponents, you could do the Kimpachi, which... I love the idea of this eye patch. I just think it's such a cool thing. Like I never expected that an eye patch that limits your power, but I, I love the idea of it. But yeah, anyway, moving on. One last little thing to look at for item wise. Badoo. This is the thing that like I saw this and I'm like, you know, I'm doing a review. So I mentioned last time, like, yeah, okay, so far we've got Urahara for like Shinigami. We've got a basic Shinigami. But on that we've got a bunch of Espada and we've even got the Quincy King. But yeah, we haven't got any other things yet, which I thought was kind of odd because, you know, we have a bunch of Zanpak Tosin that are literally some of the squad captains and vice captains Zom uh, like, that is their Zanpak Tosin, it's their Shikais and Bankais. So I, I, you'd think that they put the, you know, these mobs in and then give them their powers and that would be easier. And instead they were going for like, you know, different Espada and stuff, like they went for, the, la the latest edition was, yeah, Zumari, which I still at this point have no idea why. <laughs> Why Why this guy? Like, I don't think he's anyone's favourite Espada. I just, I, I'm still so boggled by why, why he got a slot before, you know, any of the Kyo Shinigami captains, or especially Yukiura. It could just be because he was just, he just was there. Like, they're just doing a bunch of stuff, and maybe the, you know, the other stuff's taking more time because it's cooler. I don't know. But either way, he exists, and I just look at him as, wow, what could have been as a better thing. Because like, a lot of the other ones are really cool, like Grimjow's in. That's really cool. Yami's in. He's got. He's kind of cool. I get, you know, the uh, first and second Espada's okay. They're powerful and cool. Nell's in. Yep, cool. Urahara Eyes in. The Quincy King. It's all really cool stuff. Then there's just him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I just I just wonder, like, what? why was he picked? Was he voted in? What was I guess he's someone's favourite if you made it in. But okay, this specker aside, yeah, so, how does this guy look? Blah! Booyah, yeah, there we go. So, oh yeah, I hadn't seen him yet. Yeah, he looks cool. Little bit space here and that. And, okay, so, yeah, Shinigami, the, working like Urahara does, he only has 20 health. But his defences are much better. Also, you might notice, yes, yeah, so his source just disappeared. I'm assuming he's just activated the symbol on Sakura. So, sorry, so, we're all thingy. Badu, game mode, survival. Do you have Semblance Sakura? Yes, you do! Oh, there it is! So, uh, yeah, if you fight Byakuya, obviously, you're gonna have to deal with Semblance Sakura. <laughs> cool! Also, oh, yeah, my spiritual thing went off. Oh, wait, I'm at Soul Folks right now. Wait, why? What? Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? Why? Why was I in a Giga after reviving? That's so weird. Like, I, I think people had noticed that before, but that was so weird. Okay. Well, because doesn't do anything first. Also, we need more clothes, the fecker. Okay, whatever. So, uh, yeah, we came out of Giga. We got given a Zopak Toll because that's where we're ready to get our Zopak Toll back. That's interesting. I didn't realize we went to Giga every time we died. Anyway, release sword. Blue. Ah, it's not what I care about. Okay, whatever. Well, luckily, there's two new ones to look at, so we'll just look at those instead. So, slash set. Uh, you can set your Zopak Toll name if you want. We're just going to leave it as it is. It's called Blue. Cool. Uh, so, type 17. Name, Badu. Release! And it's this thing. So, right, there were two new uh, sword types put in. One is supposed to... It, it, it was a whole health-based thing. You're supposed to siphon off your health. And switch your health with the target or something, something, something. I'm not entirely sure how it operates. But, I mean, yeah, in theory, if Byakuya injures us a lot, which he just did... Uh, yeah, literally for a split second, I managed to, before he killed me, I managed to split, uh, switch health with him, so it actually weakened down something else. So you can't kill him with that ability, unless you manage to do it while you're just dying, it would be weird. But, um, yeah, no, you can drastically weaken an opponent with that. That's a really OP sword, if it gets timed right. <laughs> like, I just massively weakened Byakuya. Yeah, another feature I didn't utilize. Where is it? Rishi platform. I should try that, because I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go later, but I try. Yeah, there we go. Reishi platform. It literally is just flight. It drains your energy, but it's literally just flight. 
I I always question the idea of giving uh flight to mods that if the enemies can't fly because typically it makes you very OP. But I suppose it, one is doing your spirit energy, which you know you can't need for defense anyway. And if you're in a fight, I don't think this would give you much of an advantage over opponents in this mod because they'll just shoot projectiles at you in most cases. Or if you try to approach them to hit them, you'll just get them anyway. Like against regular mobs, this is really OP because you can just fly above them and hit them. I, I don't think it's as powerful. In this, it's probably fine, especially with that, like, how quickly the drain is, which is good, because otherwise people could just, you know, abuse that. But, um, yeah, no, there is a, there is a bridge flying aspect, which is cool in its own sense. It's just, yeah, I, I don't think the enemies fly, though, is the thing, so... But then again, yeah, as I said, they'll, they'll just probably, they'll just shoot projectiles at you, so it probably won't matter, even if you gain flight against them. Like, their aggro range seems to be pretty good, where if you get away, try and get away from them, they will chase you, so... I, I don't think it's an issue. Like, a lot, some mods giving people flight in power and certain things is, like, an issue. But in this kind of mod, where the, uh, the aggro range is pretty good, the mod, uh, the mob's AI thing seems to be quite good for tracking you, and they have options against you in the form of different projectiles. Yeah, it should be fine. Also, right, I'm gonna set my energy a bit higher. Because otherwise I'm gonna struggle. <laughs> well, eh, maybe I ain't struggle with this guy. So, okay, uh, Bunkai. Bloop. I have to beat this guy really quick. Cool, we'll just do that really fast. That'll get us our Bankai. And then, yeah, just check out the Swords Bankai. Which I said, like, I'm gonna manage this, no bother. Now he's still doing quite a bit with me. He's still doing quite a bit, because I'm missing. Come on, you. There we go. Bankai! So, but, the Sword itself didn't change. It's they're doing way more energy than before. Cool. Uh, so, from what I read about how this sword works, basically. It's it's meant to neutralize other people's abilities. That killed him, feck. All right, another one, another one, another. One. Why have I get two sword? Wait, what? Why have I get two? Whatever. Hit him. He's still using his shikai, so it's definitely not done that. It's not. It's not neutral. It's not neutralize the shikai. Oh wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Looking at actual mod page, it says it mutes the abilities keyword of other players. Okay, so it neutralizes skills of our players. So I don't think it I don't think that would mean the swords themselves either. I think that just means they wouldn't be able to use things like the keto or flash step and stuff around you. Which is yeah, okay, for a bind kind that's siphoning off people's energy. That's kinda neat. Also quickly back into my soul body, but um Right, anyway, wait a minute, actually. Oh yeah, because it's a soul pill they move around. Neat. Anyway, sword type over to eighteen. Other sword. This one is uh like swords have got, like different class types, don't they? Like you get the keto type, you got the offensive type, and da, 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 da. I don't really know what you class each one of the things as we're seeing because like I, I don't know if you class that last sword as like something. It's not like keto type, is it? I don't know. Anyway, this one's definitely an offensive type. Uh, basically, wait, what? What? There we go. <laughs> Just disappeared there completely. That was odd. But, yeah, okay, so this sword's apparently a slash-based sword. Okay, yeah, it shoots at projectiles. Then if you shift-click, sword style 1. Sword style 2. Actually, wait, what? You're just shooting at more projectiles, mate. Oh, he blocked that. Oh? Oh! Okay, the projectile looks the same, but the effects it comes off of are different. Ooh, sword of the dead. Ooh. I don't know what that just did. Hold on. Hit it. Oh, kill down. Bigger kill down. Hello. I, I just saw different slash. I just started shooting them off there. It didn't look like it was changing anything. No, no, it does. Sword of the Dead. Oh, it's hitting around. The particle looks so pretty for that sword, though. And then, okay, I think I think it mentioned it was eight slash types. So that was one. Or, or that was... Oh, okay, the sword type zero. So it's just slash. Then slash one, which throws them. Slash two, which teleports you to them. Ooh, okay. Um, then slash type three, which creates an explosion of particles. Also, it's so I like this sword just for the particle effects. I think it looks so pretty, like so so cool. Like, <laughs> I know it's the kind of effects I quite enjoy. Was it five? Was it five to like? Yeah, the five is the one that cooks the opponent. Okay. Then what was six? Six was launching them much further into the air. Then sword of the dead launched them about a bit more, and then back to zero. Okay. I thought I could crap into it. That was pretty cool. Then going a step further, Bunkai. Oh, wait, hello. Oh, it's a sword 8 and 9 now. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I assume it's just increasing the power as well, but okay, sword number 8. Ooh, different color attack. 
I can kill them. Uh, and sword number nine. Oh, a mix of park. Hello. Again, so killing pretty looking. <laughs> Oh, I mean, pretty to me anyway. I just, I like the black particles that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it's like a cross. Oh, it's like a cross of energy. Ooh. Oh, I like this sword. Oh, uh, but um, just for the after effect, I like this sword. This is a very cool sword. Hold on, it's got me wondering though. Hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to sword seventeen. Da -ba -do. Yeah, okay, yeah, right-clicking switches health with the target. Which Actually, I think if I did it to this chicken, then, would I just go down to two health? <laughs> um, I want to try it. Hold on. No. Okay, cool. Uh, I was just wondering, like, if I shift right-clicked and stuff, if it would, if there was any extra moves. Because that sometimes is the case with some of these swords, is if you shift right-click, they have extra moves. And I don't always notice, because I sometimes forget to do it, which is quite often, actually. Um, but yeah, okay, so this sword, no, it's very simplistic. It's, it does what it says in the tin. It switches health with a target thing. But I, I guess if the target's at full health, it doesn't, like, switch it. it I don't know. Uh, it, it didn't, get, like, make me have less health with the, the chicken. So maybe the target has to have more health than you for it to work. But you'd be a very good uh, field safe all in you weakening yourself. Okay, that was very cool. I like that. That was fun. Um, going a step further, though. We're going to give ourselves our energy back. Uh, we're gonna switch a sword type to sword number five. I believe five is each goes, yes? Yes. Okay. So, uh, we go Zangetsu, we go Tensor Zangetsu. Very cool. How you get Mugetsu is basically you attack this thing again. I don't know why I didn't think that, because it's actually quite obvious when you think of it, because this lets you fight against your Zanpakuto. And it takes literally the form of Mugetsu. So, why? why I, my brain just didn't put that bit together. Great. Anyway, badum. So we can fight you again. Oh! Oh! No, it's this guy! Oh, it's different! Urgh. Hello! Well, you're. You're not gonna do well against me because my spirit charge is like massive because it's up at 4,000. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so. We get a fight against you. Cool. And now can we go a step further? Mugetsu. Yes, we can! Hello! Okay, yeah, that's literally permanently decreasing my spirit energy because the whole point of Mugetsu, the final Getsuga, you get absurd amounts of power for a short period, and yeah, then when it's done, you lose all your spirit energy. Oh my god, and yeah, the attacks are huge for it. Hello, okay, hold on. Byakuya, come here. <laughs> Badoom. Oh, that was just a regular one. Oh! Oh, I did final get. Oh, you only get one. Oh, obviously, you only get one. It's called the final Getsuga. Feg. <laughs> I can't use the form again. No. Also, yeah, my spirit energy is still rapidly dropping. Hello. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Use the Reishi sword. Neutralize it. That doesn't work. Fuck. God damn it. Okay. Hold on then. Hold on. Hold on. Let's put our energy down like way lower so that it runs out quicker. Because I do want to see what... It stopped. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So even though it stopped though, I can't use my sword anymore. Right. No, no, I can't. <laughs> I can now, it's back. I don't know, did I utilize it with the Reishi Sword? I don't know. Or maybe I just kind of use the Soul Pill, it came back. I want to try this again. Hold on. Can you, Can I fight you again? I can! Yay, I can get Final Getsuga again. Okay, there we go. Then, Mugetsu. Excellent. Right, Byakuya, hello. Skidoosh. Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> I did a bunch. And yeah, yeah, using that, you then you, you stop being in the form. Yeah, really, you do get, you still get to keep your sword stuff, because, well, actually, that makes sense, because in, in the anime, Ichigo did keep his sword and things for, and his powers for a bit longer, but, yeah, his energy permanently kept increasing until eventually it was gone, which would be the same for us, and then you use whatever means to get it back. That's a cool, that is still a cool feature, like, a cool feature. Like, I don't know what the fact you're going to do once you've lost your powers, I guess you become human, die, and then go back the cycle of becoming a Shinigami again or something? I don't know. Because until, like, and they don't, I don't think there's full bringers in this yet, technically. So, yeah. But yeah, okay, that's how you do uh, Mugetsu and Final Getsuga and whatnot. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah, and as far as updates and other bits goes, uh, there was some, up, like, small changes for, like, some little bug fixes and uh, fixes to, like, certain keto things and things like that. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, blah, so, yeah, I, I think it was, like, keto, uh, Hado number 90 or something got 
changed so it was like easier to use or something. I was a little bit slack. But yeah, okay. Pfizer's, how does that work? Oh, so are these new? Are these, are these pictures here new? I feel like they are. <laughs> I don't feel like these were here before. Either way, I, like, I noticed when I uh, was able to pick my race, uh, I saw a little picture. I'm like, wait, that's new, isn't it? Because they look cool. Uh, like, I really dig the hollow one in that, but yeah. Um, all right, I, I don't know if they're new, but if they are, point them out. If not, I literally forgot. I, did, I didn't notice them somehow. All right, set race. Actually, hold on. Set race. Okay, tell us which. Hmm. I'm just trying to remember if I put a cap at the start. <laughs> this is a bit I'm kind of struggling with here. But okay, if I type in visored, has it has it given me? Yes, I've now got fifty Shinigami and twenty five Hollow. Cool. And how do we go from here? Well, I can't release my sword, because I don't have a sword anymore. Okay, because yeah, I switched over race. Okay, so that's Shikai the True. Release. I get Buru back. Cool. And right, then the next part was slash set Bankai. True. And then meaning. Bankai. There it is. So. At this point, everything's gone dark. At this point, it's saying click J twice. That's the map button for me. Uh, also, he's saying, let me take over. Oh, hello. And yeah, now it's done this. So at this point, I became essentially Ichigo. And he's going to run around and kill things. Neat. How do you get out? <laughs> this is where I got stuck last time. How do you... Like, how, how do you do anything and deal with them? How do you fight? How do you... How, like, what do you do? Okay, at this point, my spiritual energy has gone up. He is now in control. I wasted a bunch of time last time. I didn't, like, nothing happened. If I click shift, I sort of drop off him for a second, and I get put back on him, like, because it basically just counts as a mount. So there's that. But yeah, I, like, I, I just don't know. Like, I, someone said in the comments, like, you're supposed to beat him, but, like, how are you supposed to beat him? <laughs> He's there, and that's that. If I click J twice again, I don't, it doesn't disappear or anything. Hold on, just for the now, switch the map button over to a different button so I can, like, press buttons. Um, is there anything I can do? I know, this is where I got stuck last time. I just, I got stuck here, I just literally couldn't escape. Because dying doesn't let you escape, can you erase that? Like, nothing I could do lets me escape. And this bamboozles me. I go Bankai, and then I just, I get stuck in this guy's form. And, like, I'm not losing energy or anything, so, like, it's not like I'm going to run out of this form or something. He just, he just stays here until he fights. And I don't know, like, if I, if I summon, like, a strong opponent, will he, like, keep fighting him? I guess if the guy eventually dies? I don't know. Let's summon more Byakias. Also, can Byakia use Bankai? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Byakia, kill him! Kill him! Oh, I fucking dingy dinged. Come on, there we go. He respawned. Well, this feels unnatural. It feels like, it feels like something's been wrong here, because... Quite clearly, he died. I got forced back into him again. But he, he died in combat. Is this not as intended? Like, I, I don't know. I got a thing saying, like, he, the visors work. Do they? <laughs> Are we sure? Are we sure they work? This doesn't feel like working to me. What have I done wrong? What's gone wrong here? Like, okay. Release. Yeah, try to release my sword isn't working. <laughs> Um, eating a soul pill gets me back like this. But, you know, I, I, I feel like I tried this before. I, know, I thought maybe releasing my soul might work, but I don't seem to want to work. It for a split second did seem to do a thing where now it's saying you have to click J multiple more times because I, I, I summon my sword and activate Bankai again. Then because if I if I do this, <laughs> I activate Bankai and then it it does the whole let me take over thing, and he'll take over when he feels like it, and then. Yeah, it's saying now, yeah, use press J or whatever. Like, what? I don't know. But yeah, fresh world. There's what the screen bit looks like. Just as I was mentioning. But yeah, I don't know. If anyone knows what sound device looks like, let's in the comments. But that, yeah, really cool stuff. I did into the mod in the form of Byakuya, who's got his, you know, sword working. I don't know if he can activate Bankai. It'd be kind of cool if he could, but... Anyway, just being able, him being able to attack the way he does is still awesome. And, yeah, getting access to things like mass and stuff is fun. The eye patch has been upgraded. Two new sword types with the last one, the slash type one, being particularly 
very awesome looking, so yeah, fun stuff in this little update. But anyway, that'll do this for this little mod review. Thank you all very much for watching. Links down below if you want to check the mod out. It's for 1.16.5 Minecraft. And yeah, this is a really cool Bleach mod. It's shaping up better and better every time it updates as it gets more and more stuff. And yeah, can't wait to see what else it gets going forward. But anyway, thank you all for watching. See you next time for every Minecraft mod review thingy I end up doing next. Go buy it from Bunny. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey, Alexander01, and Isaac Washington, and our Anbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da.